for weeks, we've been telling you about growing frustrations in Old Town over crime, trash, and public camping. It's especially troubling to cultural organizations like the Lansu Chinese Garden. They're asking city leaders to meet with them about the problem. Tonight, one city commissioner did just that. Catherine Cook has the story. Inside the gates of the Lansu Chinese Garden, thousands of people seek tranquility, a brief respite from the grind. But look just outside the gates. Those who run the garden say what's happening here is jeopardizing all of it. I have had staff in the last week assaulted. I have had staff in their cars chased with uh, people chasing after them with metal pipes. We had somebody die on the streets right next to Lansu. Elizabeth Nye is executive director at Lansu. She says they've hired private security to police the area and nonprofits have agreed to clean the sidewalks. Jobs Nye believes the city should be doing. You know, this is a citywide problem. Um, it's a tragedy that it's gotten this bad. Portland City Commissioner Mingus Maps is responding to Lansu's plight. On Thursday, Maps met with Nye and directors of three other cultural institutions in Old Town. The meeting was in response to a joint letter the director sent to Maps and other city and county leaders asking for help. Uh, I will um, have succeeded in helping them when I actually change the reality on the ground. When I get that trash picked up, when I get people who are currently sleeping on the streets and in need of mental health care um, inside in shelter and connected to mental health uh, service providers. Maps says his office has already asked police to increase patrols in Old Town. He's also looking ahead to the city's fall bump to ask for some public safety reforms, including hiring more police officers. And we literally do not have enough police officers to respond to um, all the 911 calls that we have. Right now, we're um, losing about 12 officers a month to retirement or going to some other bureau. Maps says he'll also push to expand the police bureau's behavioral health unit and supports expanding Portland street response. After their meeting, Nye from Lansu told KGW that the group appreciates Maps' prompt response and specific ideas. However, she said, we are concerned that many of these initiatives, which are connected to the fall bump budgeting process, still means that Old Town will need to wait until March 22nd at the soonest for many of these to begin. To that end, Nye noted this problem is older than this year and says it's discouraging that it took this letter to start seeing action. Two other city commissioners responded to KGW regarding the letter. Commissioner Dan Ryan said in part, Old Town needs our support now more than ever. No employee, resident, or tourist should fear for their physical or emotional safety because of where they work, live, and play. Commissioner Carmen Rubio said in part, I want to acknowledge the deep concerns I've heard when talking with some of these organizations and community leaders. Significant planning and engagement is happening as we speak to take necessary steps forward on these issues in the coming weeks. Maps, who took office in January, says he looks at Old Town on a citywide scale as he tries to make a difference for the future. We have not been served well by um, pretending like it doesn't exist. Catherine Cook, KGW News.